Uh, Coach, you look like you kind of had him out gun tonight. Well, you know, I've got a lot of respect for for Coach Ross and the job he's done there. They've come a long way in a short time. And I will say this about their kids, you know, uh, we we did have them a little out man, but I, I'm, I was very impressed by the fact they played hard all the way. They never gave they never gave up. They played hard. So, uh, you know, they're, they're a program that's making a lot of progress. On the other hand, very proud of our guys came out, you know, very focused, took care of business and, uh, you know, you know, played well early. And, you know, another opportunity for a lot of them young guys to get some quality play and time, and I was very happy with the way they got in there and, 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 and did a good job. So that's always a plus. And, and it being a playoff game, that's a, a, you know, a great experience for some of them young guys to get the chance to get in a playoff game. So a lot of big pluses to that. Yeah, I saw a bunch of numbers out there that I hadn't seen before. That was the JV guys that came up? Sure, we, we had several JV guys that got to get in there and play a little bit. And, you know what a, what a great experience for them you know uh, to get get to play in a playoff actually get to play in a play playoff game not just suit up but actually get in there and play a little bit a great experience for them yeah and you know I saw their quarterback actually he could, he could throw a little bit oh yeah I mean they're they're not they're not void of talent you know a 15 boy he's a good football player and, and uh you know they're a young team and um, uh, you know, like I said, Coach Ross has done an outstanding job getting them to this point in such a short period of time. And, you know, I would say they, they probably, you know, they're, they're, they're going to be an up and coming program, I would say. Okay, and you told me before the season started that you thought the strength of this team would be your line because you had so many seniors right. in there. And that really proved to be the case tonight. Oh, yeah, and another, another instance of our offensive line coming out and controlling the line of scrimmage. We talk about it every week. And I'm sure if anybody listens to this, they sound and say it sounds like a broken record and it's a coaching cliche. But, you know, battles are won down in trenches and, and uh, our offensive line has been our mainstay for the whole year and we're just going to keep riding them. And you're, you're healthy going in the right. next game? Right. You yeah. know, uh, uh, Hayden got cleared. Uh, you know, I'm try to work him back in, see how he responds. But that'd be a big plus getting him back. So, you know, we, we, got, a lot of, we got a lot of pluses right now. Okay, and next week we're going to be right back right here. Right back here in Buffalo. Same time. 730 versus ARP. ARP Tigers, you know, the team put us out last year. But, uh, you know, they're a very talented football team. Coach Irwin does, you know, he's got a great program there. You know, they, they're, they're very successful. Uh, we got a work cut out for us, but, you know, I, I'm – I'm, I'm certainly looking for the, forward to the challenge. I think our players are looking forward to that challenge. So, uh, you know, so we got to get a great week of work in and, and come back here Friday night and play the best we can. Okay, and you know that's one of the things that ARP's got. ARP, like Crawford, got, you know, you start getting two, three rounds into the playoffs, right. and you start seeing the, the same. You see the Cisco's, you see the ARP, you see sure. the Oregon Camden, you see the sure. Crawford, you, you sure. know. You know, the, he's, he's, he's a highly – sure, it's a highly successful program. Uh, you go back and look at it over the course of time, and they are very successful, But uh, and it's for a reason. But, uh, you know, I think our players are, are really looking forward to that challenge. You know, it's, uh, you know, uh, second round deep playing a team. It's a quality football team, and, and we'll see see where we match up. And after the first round, you really don't get any buys. There's nah, no, easy teams no, no. They they get weeded out real quick. So, you know, ARP started off slow this year. Played a very very tough schedule, but they've played real well late, of late. They won a double overtime game last night against a very very talented Paul Pewitt team. So, and we got a work cut out for us. But hey, uh, you know, I, I think these guys will be up to the challenge. And one of the things that does change now this this year because y'all wrapped up. You knew you had a playoff spot pretty early. Yes. Uh, even before you had the top spot nailed down. Sure. But now, every week, half the team's playing their last game. That is correct. And that's, you know, that's the exciting and exhilarating part of the playoffs. And it's, you know, it's also, it's a disappointing end for one team. But uh, we're going to focus on that exhilarating part right now. And, and uh, you know, we're, we're going to come. We're going to get us a great week of work in, and we won't come back here to Buffalo and, and put our very best foot forward, and, and we'll see what happens. Okay, the last thing I was saying about this, I thought that y'all were really classy. You, you put your guys in, that you let your second teamers, you let the JV play. You, you let, you know, Anderson Chiro, like I say, they're a new program they're still right. trying to build, and you kind of let them keep their dignity and respect. Well, 
Yeah. You know, that, that goes back to a long time, you know, uh, uh, when Coach Murphy and I first came to Crawford, and that was one of the big things when we started, get, you know, having good football teams, you know. Uh, uh, Mr. Judy, you know, talked about that, and, and he really didn't have to, but, you know, um, you know, those kids over there work hard. You know, you, you there's no winner in, in embarrassing somebody. So, uh, you know, we had some things we needed to work on. I kind of hated uh, putting the number ones in that first series, the second half. We we really talked about it, but you know, we've had, you know, we've had several games the last few games where we really haven't had to play a full game, and that's a little bit of worry from a conditioning standpoint. So I felt like they needed to at least play one series, but after that, you know, the rest, you know, the number twos finished out the way. And like I said, great opportunity for them, so. Okay, well, next week, right here. That's right. All right.